We're terribly excited that in a period of about two months, we've been able to retool and rejig what would have been a fantastic meeting in Paris. Now, 48 hours of high content, high quality gene and cell therapy to be held in a virtual space that's been completely created from the ground up to embrace over 2,000 registrants. We expect that the, we will cover all of the familiar areas in cell and gene therapy that people have come to expect from ISCT. This includes exosomes for the first time, CAR T cell therapies, mesenchymal stromal cells, commercialization tracts, regulatory tracts, and so on. People will be able to visual, visually visit the virtual space of the poster hall, which I encourage everybody to go to and actually speak to the presenters there and then in live interactive space, as well as listening to audios that are pre-recorded for many of the posters. In addition, we've got live sessions as well as pre-recorded sessions. And the exciting thing that we've created is that the content will be accessible for 12 months after the actual live presentation so that everybody can benefit. Anybody who misses out will now be able to dial in and see the presentations for 12 months following the virtual live session coming up on the 28th and the 29th of May. In terms of specific highlights, we've got sessions such as the Presidential Symposium, which this year will be focusing on induced pluripotent stem cells. Many of our members recognize the fact that induced pluripotent stem cells having won the Nobel Prize only a relatively few short years ago has simply not reached the pace that we had have originally expected um, when this in amazing uh, biological discovery and, and indeed Nobel Prize winning discovery uh, was announced. Nonetheless, there have been steady progress and we'll be hearing from leaders in the field, Rudolf Janisch, Mark Pashansky and Peter Zanstra, each speaking about their particular areas ranging from basic to translational to ultimately clinical trials in the area of induced pluripotency. And I would mention the simple fact that uh, recently we completed a clinical study of induced pluripotent stem cells that der are derived into mesenchymal stromal cells, thereby connecting the two areas uh, in the area of graft versus host disease. So there are so many areas of highlight that will be talked about during the meeting and that will actually be able to be revisited for 12 months following the meeting.